All right, all right. I know it's been a little while, but I'm back. Gonna hop right into it. I'm just gonna be ranking all the Danny Wimmer Presents Rock Metal Festivals in this video. This is just based off my personal taste, which is usually old schoolish metal. So this isn't 100% objectively or best variety or anything like that. Pretty much, I'm just going to look at the lineups. If I like them, I'm going to put them high. If I don't like them, I'm going to put them low. That's pretty much what I'm doing here. Starting off the list, I got Other Than Life at number five. Now, my main problem with this festival is that the co-liners, co-headliners, I should say, are just weak, weak, weak. Foo Fighters, Tool, Avenged Sevenfold, and Green Day are pretty cool. Especially Green Day because they're not on any of these major festivals. But I mean, Turnstile, Queens of the Stone Age, Falling in Reverse, Godsmack, Rancid is eh. All being co-headliners is just not doing it for me personally. Really, the only ones that I really care about are Pantera and Limp Bizkit. All the other co-headliners are just kind of take it or leave it. The undercard definitely has some highlights though. I mean, Megadeth, Corey Taylor... Death Clock, The Who, are all pretty good bands, but just not having good bands right before the headliner, at least for my taste, just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Coming in at the number four spot is Aftershock. Honestly, not much to say about this one. It's pretty much the same festival. I just like the headliners on this one a little bit better than Louder Than Life. I'll take Guns N' Roses over Green Day any day, and I'm also taking Corn over Foo Fighters any day. Other than that, the same complaints still stand for what I found wrong with Loud Than Life. And the undercard is literally like almost exactly the same. At number 3, I have Welcome to Rockville. When I first saw this lineup, I thought it was like the top tier, like as good as you can get. But now that it's been a few months, I really can see the flaws that this lineup has. Evanescence and Hardy just being back to back on the same day. It's just not good. I, I don't think they're good bands. I don't think they're good musical artists. That whole day honestly really brings the festival down. Sevenfold is like the only highlight on that day for me personally. And then all the rest is just really bad bands. Motionless and White and Tala are tolerable. But other than that, I have no desire to see any of the bands that are listed on the undercard. Pantera is my favorite band of all time, so I'm not going to diss them as being a headliner because that's just awesome for me. Alice Cooper being here is really, really cool. Slipknot, Zombie, Tool, Deftones, all really good. I just think Thursday is probably one of the best days in like all of these festivals here. I mean, Tendencies, Bullet, Trivium, I mean, Converge is just all really good stuff. Avatar, I mean... They got some really good bands on that day. Again, not a Queens of the Stone Age fan. Not a Blackfield Brides fan at all. But I think the rest of those bands really bring that day up. Sepatura and Creator are both really cool on this festival. Because they're usually not invited to these big festivals like this in the United States. Knocked Loose is dope. I mean, this is a very, very solid lineup. But I think Friday is like the worst day that I've like ever seen on a festival. So that's kind of brings it down for me. Now these next two were a pretty close tie because I thought these were two really, really good lineups. But after a little bit of deciding, I got incarceration at number two. I know that a lot of people aren't going to like the headliners on this festival, but I personally love them. The co-headliners are pretty decent. Lamb of God, Bush, and Megadeth are all really, really good. And Cold Chamber's also up there and Hatebreed. Those are all really, really good bands. And I mean, on the undercard, I mean, Mushroomhead, Guar, Kublai Khan, Vended. I mean, just some really, really solid stuff here. Quality over quantity, indeed. I think both of the festivals in Ohio really, really killed it this year. And that brings me to my number one spot. Yeah, this lineup pretty much takes a lot of the best bands from all the other ones and put them into one festival. Tool, Avenged Sevenfold, Kiss, Rob Zombie, Foo Fighters, Deftones, I mean, Knocked Loose, Bullet, Pennywise, Tendencies, Joey Valance and Bray are really good in my opinion, 
Miss May I is pretty solid. Converge is pretty solid. And I yeah, I just think this is a really, really put together festival. Kiss is one of my favorite bands of all time, so them being on this really does bump it up for me. The only major lineup that Pantera is not on, I found that kind of weird to me, but the rest of the lineup is so good in my opinion. I just think it's a really, really put together festival, really well rounded. And that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I don't go on a 7th month break again. I don't know why I would, but these are pretty fun. Hit that like button, subscribe. I don't know if people still do that anymore, but yeah, I'm going to head out.